The fallout from Harry and Meghan's Netflix docuseries has continued after a coalition of political grandees, military figures and historians called for the couple to stay away from King Charles' coronation in May. Amongst those calling for them to stay away is former Conservative Minister David Meller, who says they categorically shouldn't come because they make money by selling their family down the river, adding the public would be perfectly entitled to boo them if they do turn up. And to give his thoughts on this is Royal Commentator Charles Wright. Charles, thank you for joining me. This is, this is outstanding. We're hearing from the military, we're hearing from politicians that royals should stay away from the coronation. That's, that's right. I mean, David Miller is absolutely correct, I think, that if they did turn up, there is a grave danger of booze mm. coming up, not for the king or the queen, but for Harry and Meghan. And everybody knows if they come over here, they'll have their own TV crews with them and pictures and everything else. And, we'll, <laughs> and I dread to think we'll have another Netflix oh, no. documentary. So, uh, no, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be anywhere near us. Charles, how was the previous one done, or the, the current one? Um, well, I thought it was three hours of my life I'll never get back again. <laughs> and if I were Netflix, who have paid £88 million for this rubbish, oh. I would be asking for £87,999,000 back. Yeah. It, it was that bad. It's all gushy, Mills and Boone stuff, uh, a few barbs uh, at the Royals, but n- mm. nothing that you could, nothing that you could ob- really object to, things that they've said before. The problem is, Calvin, that next Thursday, Mm. that's when the bombshells should come because if you look at the three trailers that we've had and they talk about dirty tricks, um, oh, woe was me and everything else, that's when we should be seeing the the nitty-gritty of it. If we don't, then clearly we we don't have anything... Well, we don't have anything to worry about, but the king and queen don't have anything to worry about. I don't think there will be anything. Well, it's hard to say. I mean, it's hard to say. I never do any predictions when I know that something's going to come up in (laughs) in less than a week, and that we're in less than a week territory now. And it's interesting, Calvin, that uh, in um, in America, a million people watched that first episode. That's it. 2.4 million in the UK for the first episode. 1.5 1.5 million for the second episode. See the trend? Wow. And 800,000 for the third episode. That is... Now, obviously, there are going to be people catching up yeah. all the time with it because that's the point of Netflix. Sure. But, you know, when this big blockbuster is supposed to be there... Uh, it's, on a global it's, scale. That on a global nothing. scale, it's nothing. We just had Giles Udi on a moment yeah. ago. His last clip got over 3 million views on TikTok. <laughs> so we're outperforming the, the Harry and Meghan at this well, rate. Exa- exactly. <laughs> that's uh, that, that's, that's um, the whole point.